Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whenever you are watching this, Ms. Lauren here with a brand new literacy video. Today, on the 19th of May, I want to review with you some words you may have heard that do a special thing when you say or sing them in your head or aloud, either alone or in front of a crowd. Did any of you notice the special thing that some of those words did with each other? That's right. They rhymed. They rhymed. Now, Rhyming, as I think you all know, means the words sound the same at the end. The words sound the same at the end. So they don't necessarily look the same. It's all about the sounds. So there are some words that we know. Some of these are sight words that we've learned. So like uh, cat and bat and that and pat and rat and hat and fat and Matt, and all those words rhyme with each other, right? They all sound the same at the end. And a lot of time, uh, a lot of the time, poems use rhyming words at the end of a line, like in nursery rhymes, uh, and also in a poem I'm going to read you by Shel Silverstein. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's about a girl who really doesn't want to go to school, so she makes up a story. Now, it's called Sick. Listen closely, because every two lines, there's a new rhyme. Alrighty, here we go. I cannot go to school today, said little Peggy Ann McKay. I have the measles and the mumps, a gash, a rash, and purple bumps. My mouth is wet, my throat is dry. I'm going blind in my right eye. My tonsils are as big as rocks. I've counted 16 chicken pox. Oh, and there's one more, that's 17. And don't you think my face looks green? My leg is cut, my eyes are blue. It might be instamatic flu. I cough and sneeze and gasp and choke. I'm sure that my left leg is broke. My hip hurts when I move my chin. My belly button's caving in. My back is wrenched, my ankle sprained. My appendix pains each time it rains. My nose is cold, my toes are numb. I have a sliver in my thumb. My neck is stiff, my voice is weak. I hardly whisper when I speak. My tongue is filling up the mouth. I think my hair is falling out. My elbow's bent. My spine ain't straight. My temperature is 108. My brain is shrunk. I cannot hear. There is a hole inside my ear. I have a hangnail and my heart is... What? What's that? What's that you say? You say today is Saturday? Goodbye, I'm going out to play. <laughs> that was such a goofy poem, right? Because Peggy goes to the extreme to get out of going to school only to find out that fibbing wasn't a very good idea because it's the weekend. Now, did you hear all those rhymes at the end of the lines? There were even some in the middle, too. That was pretty interesting. Oh, yeah, in the, in the line, a gash, a rash, and purple bumps. So gash and rash in the line rhymed with each other. I bet you heard a lot more. I wonder if you can remember any of them. I think it would be such a cool project if you put together your own short poem. Now, you don't, know how, you don't need to know how to spell the words, remember, it's all about the sounds, and it can be super short and simple. I'll make one up right now to show you how you might do it. Roses are red, violets are blue, and you're all pretty cool, and I like you. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's an easy peasy. Ooh, there's another rhyming thing, right? Easy peasy, rosy posy, if Rosie's watching this. 
So yeah, there are lots of options. I wonder what you come up with. That's it for me, everyone. I will see you in our Zoom calls and I'll see you on Thursday for a super fun math video. And I hope you all have a day that's as awesome as you are. Bye-bye.